Chapter 7 I am dead. No, I'm not. There is grass in my mouth, and in my eyes. I'm stiff and sore, but I'm not dead. I'm upside down on the grass, inside the pool fence. Nearby is a girl. She's staring at me with wide open eyes. I blink and I rub the dirt out of my eyes. The girl looks as if she's never seen a boy before. I mean, I guess she hasn't. Not one dressed in a bridal dress who has just flown over a fence. She's wearing a baby pink bikini. My head is spinning so much that I can hardly see. I am confused. I can't think straight. There is a buzzing sound in my ears. Then there's a beep. No, 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 not again. The girl is screaming. I am screaming. The bikini does not suit me. Not at all. The girl looks down at her wedding gown. She hasn't a clue where it came from. She races into the changing room as quickly as she can go. I look around for the boys' showers. Where are they? Where, oh, where? People are staring at me. A boy in a bikini. Shame. I pull off the top part of the bikini and toss it away. At least I'm rid of the bra bit. But I still look ridiculous. The bottom part of this bikini keeps slipping. The gizmo is pulling it down. This is a nightmare. I can hear laughing. Girls laughing. About 30 of them. They are all dressed in the uniform of the Laredo Covenant. They are filling through the turnstiles. They're going past the door to the boy's showers. Oh, I'm trapped. Where can I go? I can't let the Laredo girls see me like this. There's nowhere to go. Except up. The diving board. It's the only way. If I climb up, maybe I can lie down and no one will see me. I start to climb as fast as I can go. I hope like crazy this bikini bottom holds. If it slips, then I'm done for. I look down. None of the girls have seen me. Yet. Hey! Says a loud voice. Oh no, I'm in for it. Shh! I say, please be quiet. Then I see who it is. Someone dressed in jeans and a leather jacket. Someone who has a part-time job at the pool. He's not going to be quiet. No way. Never. He's going to talk in a loud voice. He's going to show off in front of the girls. It's Floggett. He's going to make sure that everyone in the world sees me up there in my bikini. Where have you been, you little wimp? Says Floggett. I've been waiting for you. Where's my spanner? And my gizmo? His eyes grow wide when he sees the tiny pink bikini. What are you wearing that for? He says. Are you nuts or something? He looks at the gizmo that is bulging out of my bikini bottom. Where's the spanner, he growls. I gave it back to the lady, I whisper. All my strength is gone. I just can't take it anymore. I can't stand up to him. I panic and I keep climbing. Floggett decides to make sure the whole world sees me. <laughs> Look at this, he yells. My heart misses a beat. The girls have seen me in my bikini. They all gather round, looking up and laughing at the sight. How embarrassing. It's a long way down, but I can't stay up there with everyone watching. How can I escape? There's nowhere to go but down. It's a long way. I close my eyes and I jump. The water gurgles around me. I hold my breath and I slowly start to float up. Now what do I do? I'm in the pool where no one can see my bikini. But I'll have to get out sometime. As I float up, I get an idea. A very good idea. It is a risk. The biggest risk of all time. But I will do it. I burst up into the sunlight and gulp in the air. Then I slowly swim to the edge of the pool. Flog it is there waiting me. <clears throat> I grab the side of the pool. The gizmo in one hand. I'll take this wimp, says Floggett, as he snatches the gizmo from me. <clears throat> and we're going to take a quick pause here, and then we're going to see, make some predictions about what might happen next.